Developer Diary 6 for Monster Hunter World Iceborne just came out on Friday. It's currently Sunday as I'm recording this. I'm a little late to the party, but that's okay. We're going to be breaking down all the big major pieces and all the major updates that are going to be coming to Iceborne. So just before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know that I do stream on Twitch every Mondays and Thursdays about 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So go follow me. Links will be down in the description. But let's get right into this Dev Diary update. To make this video, you know, just bam, bam, bam. First of all, login bonuses for jewels. Make sure you're doing them right now. They're free jewels all the way up to when Alatrin comes out on the 9th. Make sure you're gathering them. It's uh, elemental jewels and a free attack jewel. And if you missed it, you missed on a critical eye jewel. So make sure you're doing that. Just to log in daily bonus. Do it. Get your free jewels and everything like that. But moving on to the big, you know, big first monster, Alatrion coming back. We're going to be going over this, right? Armor update. His armor gives a new skill. It is a set bonus or whatever, and it makes it so that your element increases as your elemental resistance increases. I don't think this is going to be very meta changing. It may take over some like Rathlos, Silver Rathlos sets, but who really knows? Um, the weapons look cool from the old game, so that's really nice to see. They didn't really change it. You know, they just look super nice new move he's got a big final move or a big like supernova move whatever you want to call it. it's called esc escanton or esc i can't say that word judgment and it hurts i'm gonna sh i'm gonna be showing like kind of some gameplay in the background of you know what they showed and it really does hurt to counter this move you have to use an element weapon to stun him and that's how you can mitigate the move they say that element weapons are going to be most effective against latron this maybe I mean, he switches He switches from different elements, so if you're running by himself, I don't think element weapons are going to be the best bet. But if you have a team, you know, maybe. But it will be... Eh, we'll, we'll wait and see when he comes out. See if element will be the most way to, most efficient and effective way to fight him. So, yeah. Next new monster, Frostfang Baryoth. Um, his armor, uh, with one piece, you have Punish and Draw, and with three pieces, you have Slugger Secret, so that's pretty chill, you know, nothing too groundbreaking. Looks pretty cool, Looks it looks really cool, actually, you know, just as, like, armor pieces, looks really cool. Um, this monster, in my opinion, as from what I saw, it's just like a Shrieking Legiana, but only the Baryoth, so you had the, like, the Legiana, kind of did some ice attacks, and then Shrieking Legiana does a lot of ice attacks. Baryoth kind of does some ice attacks. Frostfang Baryoth does way more ice attacks. So, you know, he looks cooler. He looks a little bit different. He's going to be more fun. It's a tempered monster, so it's going to be harder. That and his weapons, hopefully, will be getting to that, like, final st end stage so that the ice element can be used and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Next few updates, um, you can create guiding, guiding lands tracks for monsters at the Elder Melder. That's pretty cool. Um, more pendants are kind of the thing, so that's just kind of generic stuff. For new up updates up and coming, we're going to have returning monster, a new returning monster. There's there's like people have been saying they want um, Gormagala to come back. I have seen some videos about how they are kind of bringing back or they want to see the trio come back. So you had like um, the uh, Tigrax, Nargakuga, and Baryoth, those flying wyverns or whatever. So you would have like, I think it's Lucent Nargakuga, and then you would have like Molten Tigrex come back. Those two, who really knows? But they, you know, it's all speculations. We don't really know. But that or they want people want like uh fatalis to come back and we don't really know but new monster coming in the fall which is really cool it's really nice um and to very much end this short and sweet video um new up update coming it's gonna bring more layered armor so that's really cool my opinion about the update if you want to hear it um Galatron looks really cool i feel like his armor is going to be useful but probably not meta useful is my opinion it kind of depends on what the skills are in the slots so you can't really say that just yet but i'm i'm his whole set i don't think is going to be all together or it's going to take over silver rathlos with true crit, crit element so there's that um the weapons look pretty dope in my opinion i'm glad that they didn't change him up or they didn't just slap him on a uh, stuff like that so that's really nice and frostfang baryoth 
it's a new monster so that's pretty awesome i'm pretty glad about that i'm pretty excited for that and that's about it so if you guys did enjoy today's video it's short and sweet dev diary update just kind of want to get to the point and all the major updates for you guys so you can stay tuned and watch a short sweet video about some monster hunter but anyways guys i'll catch you guys in the next video see you later